Welcome to this preview video of the new Nostis Extreme Document Studio Delphi. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the new features of Extreme Document Studio, particularly in the area of multi-format document viewing. If you're not familiar with Extreme Document Studio Delphi, here's a quick introduction. Extreme Document Studio is a framework to enable developers to get work done with documents. The vision is to have all the functionality you need, such as viewing, printing, converting, exporting, creating, and editing, with support for multiple formats, available in a single, well-integrated product suite. We'll see some of these features in this video demo. Here's a list of the demos we'll go through now. First, we'll take a look at the new document viewer and its capabilities to view documents on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. The new version comes integrated with the Tesseract OCR engine. So we'll see that in action through the document converter by converting an image to a searchable PDF. And finally, we'll use the viewer plugin framework to create a viewer plugin to translate text on a PDF document from English to German. When you install the new release, you'll find that there are two new tabs labeled Extreme Document Studio Main, but one says Beta. We decided to ship the new viewer, which is a beta currently, as a separate component. So you can use it alongside the released components. And you just need to run one installer to get both. The new viewer is named TGTX Document Viewer. Once the new viewer is finalized, it will replace the old viewer with the old name. This demo uses the new viewer. Let's run it. The new viewer comes with several new display capabilities. Let's load a PDF and take a look. This is the standard one column display as was there in the old viewer. And this is the two column display. Let's zoom out a bit. And now we can see another option, which is to auto fit columns. So when I select this, the viewer fits as many whole pages as it can fit based on the current available area and zoom level. This viewer also allows me to change the scroll orientation. So I can set or select between vertical and horizontal. Let's check horizontal. So if you can see now, the pages are laid out horizontally. And I find this quite useful for mobile devices. Let's look at the properties to control these settings. All the properties to control the display settings are grouped under the property called display. Under display, we have page view. As this is a multi-format viewer, we will need to configure views for different kinds of documents. Since PDF is a paged or fixed layout document, it was using the paged view. 
there will be other view kinds supported and appropriate properties for them in the future. Let's look at what page view has. Mainly it has the page layout where we can set the number of pages to see in the view. Single page, two page, auto fit and custom. Then we have the scroll orientation, vertical and horizontal. And under display, we also have the zoom related settings. There are other properties as well, which we will take a look at in a future video demo. Now let's switch to the FireMonkey Viewer demo. The FireMonkey Viewer does not have all the display layout capabilities as the VCL Viewer at this point. Our first goal here was to have native rendering on all devices for PDF, Word and image formats. And we have that now. In this demo, we have views set up for desktop, iPhone and Android devices. And I'm going to run the demo for each of the devices and load some documents. So we'll start with the Mac OS. So I have the viewer opening up on the Mac. Let me open a PDF document. and a doc file. Another doc file. and an image and a PDF with embedded fonts. All the rendering code is native Delphi and using our own font processor. Let's close this and now let's target the iOS simulator. So the viewer had document resources that it dumped into my documents folder. So let's open those documents. So the same PDF we used are opened on the Mac and that image and the PDF with embedded fonts. And now let's run the Android viewer demo right on the device. So for this, I'm going to launch the app, which is already on my device. This is the same FireMonkey viewer demo. I'm going to open those documents, the PDF. There's a lag between when I see it and when it shows up in the screen share application. It's much smoother here on the device itself. Let me load another document, a doc file this time. another doc file
and the image and the file with embedded fonts. All right, let's move on to our next demo. Here we'll see the new capability in the new version, which is to convert an image to a searchable PDF. Let me run the demo. So I'm going to choose PDF as my output format. And first, I'm going to turn off OCR. The feature is called Digitize. Let me show you the image I want to convert. It's a scanned document and it's a JPEG image. Let me select it and do a conversion with OCR turned off. And let me go just rename that document. And let me run the demo again with digitization enabled. It takes a little bit longer and it gets done. So let's open both these documents. So in the first one, which is without any digitization, there is no text to select or search. And in the other one, you can see that the selection cursor comes on and I can select text and I can also search it. For example, let's see, or I can select this word and copy it and paste it here and find it of course. Now let's move on to our last demo. This demo uses the Google Translate REST APIs to translate text from a document between languages. Let's run it first. I'm going to load a document which has not too much text and I'm going to hit the shortcut key which invokes the translate plugin. And the shortcut key we have chosen for this is Control shift t so it pulls up the text from the document, builds the request URL, sends it over to the Google Translate API, gets the request back and shows the text in a memo. Let's have a quick look at the code. So I'm going to trace this code backwards. So let's assume we've already written the plugin. We want to register it now. To register the plugin, we call the register viewer plugin on the XDoc framework object, passing the document formats we want to register the plugin for and the class itself. So this is the class and it is derived from the base class for all viewer plugins, that is the TGTX viewer plugin. And in the constructor of this plugin, we allocate a handle so we can receive messages from the viewer and we process those messages in the process messages method where we just check for the shortcut key and then invoke the rest of the translation process. So how does that look? So here we pick up all the text from the document, make a whole string out of it and then build the request URL to send to the Google Translate API, call the API, get back the result, and parse that JSON with a specific parse logic to get out the final translated text. And then we show the text in a memo. And that's how it works. So that's all we had for this preview demo. You can go to the Xteam Document Studio product page by scanning this QR code or surf www.nostis.com 
and click on the XM Document Studio Delphi link on the home page. Thank you for watching.